Hi, this is Chris Foster, Senior Editor of Triathlete Magazine. We're here today to unbox the brand new Quintana Roo PR62 Disc Tri-Bike. So generally, I'm not going to take people through an entire bike build um, because it would take forever. Um, but kind of one of the big features of this bike is that um, it comes pre-assembled probably about 90% of the way. Um, so when it arrives at your door and you buy this online directly from Quintana Roo, um, it's, it's pretty easy to put together. So we are going to take you through just a real quick build and I'm going to talk about some of the features as we go. So let's check it out. So first thing you notice when you open up this box is you've got some of the basics, seat post, okay, wheels, um, but then you've also got the frame itself already built um, with the handlebars attached and everything in a straight direction, which is crazy. Um, definitely something unique to this, uh, this bike box. Um, so you don't even have to mess with the aero bars. And as someone who has built a lot of bikes, assembling the aero bars, the whole cockpit and everything, takes up probably like 70% of the time. So with this all put up together, uh, this this build is probably going to be a breeze. So I'm going to get some of this stuff out of the way. And we'll get this thing up on a stand. All right, so real quick, I'm going to take a pause on the build um, and just kind of look at um, some of the new stuff um, with the PR62. Um, that's an upgrade from the previous PR6 disc. Um, still got disc brakes. Um, you, you're looking at uh, an upgraded frame. Um, Quintana Roo says that there's an 11% increase in stiffness um, and a 10% uh, decrease in weight on the frame, which is not nothing because honestly, uh, the PR6 uh, disc was one of the lighter frame sets um, in the whole sport of triathlon. Um, so that's definitely notable. They've also got a new bottom bracket, um, which I don't even have to get into, which is awesome. Um, because it's already assembled here. Uh, a new bottom bracket I think kind of helps with both that stiffness and that lightness thing. So um, just a couple notes as we build. Go through the rest of it now. We're going to take another little pause right now um, in the build and just kind of show you um, this really cool um, rear storage unit. This was in the PR6 disc also. Um, but as you saw, I just clipped that on really easy. It's got a cool little light safety, lots of different blinking options, um, the top comes off easily, you can put like a spare in there. Um, this is obviously not stuff that you'd really want to try to access while you're riding, um, but more like emergency stuff. So really nice. And you can get this customized. Um, the Quintana Roo has one of their big like really cool things is um, that they have, I think for this model, 11 color options. Um, that's just base frame color, and they, they hand paint them all in Tennessee. Um, so that's really awesome. Then you've got a lot of decal options, so the options are pretty much endless. You can get this box a different color, um, all sorts of kind of neat stuff like that. Decals here, different colors, so you can really kind of customize your ride. Um, and that's not an extra charge or anything, so pretty cool. All right. Okay, so another real quick pause in the build. Um, this integrated hydration system is something that's brand new for the PR6-2 disc. Um, the PR6 uh, disc did not come with this. Uh, you could obviously get it put on, um, but this is a profile design, um, Aria, I think that's how you say it. Um, but they say it's been aerodynamically optimized just for this frame. Um, and as you saw, I mean, I just clipped it on. Like I haven't, I haven't screwed it down or anything. Um, there might be a little more adjustment, but like it just popped it on. Like you could honestly just race with this bike tomorrow um, if you needed to, because you have all these cool little things that are already included that obviously any traffic's gonna need. So just another neat note. All right, so this is kind of interesting. The bike is ostensibly done. Um, I obviously need to still uh, kind of tune it up, um, make sure the gear shift before I would go out and ride it and everything, but I'm not going to do that now. Um, I just want to take another last moment before, you know, we sign off um, to just show you the other things that were left in this box. And I'm literally holding everything. You can see everything that was included in this bike box. Okay. You've got some extra bolts if you want to raise and lower the arrow um, bar pads. Um, so that's, that's all this here. 
some extra valve stems for if you want a, um, if you want to go tubeless, tubeless valve stems, some more spacers, a bridge connector for the arrow bars, more spacers for the arrow bars, DI2 charging. Okay. So the long and short of this is there's nothing else in that box. Everything that I didn't just show to you is on the bike already hung on. Um, the only things I really had to adjust uh, or actually tighten down, um, and obviously I'll check every bolt before I ride it, but everything I had to tighten down was just the seat post and I just had to clip on the hydration and the, the storage in the rear. So um, you're looking at like a box that is, I mean a bike that is just absolutely ready to rock right out of the box. Um, so definitely worth taking everyone through this unboxing um, because it's a very unique experience for someone who's built a hundred bikes maybe. Um, by far this is the fastest one I've ever been able to put together. Um, so, uh, we're going to take this bike out. Obviously I'm going to double check all the bolts, make sure everything's good. Um, inflate the tires, blah, blah, blah. Um, but I'm going to take this thing out. I'm going to put it through the ringer, um, and we'll write up a full review, um, in the next week or two. All right. Well, thanks for joining us on this build. Uh, I'm Chris Foster and we'll see you next time.